In this problem, we're told a ball of mass 0.22 kg that is moving with a speed of 7.5 meters per second collides head-on and elastically with another ball initially at rest. Immediately after the collision, the incoming ball bounces backward with a speed of 3.8 meters per second. Calculate A, the velocity of the target ball after the collision, and B, the mass of the target ball. So in order to solve these problems, there's two main formulas you need to know that deal with uh, conservation of momentum. And so these two formulas are M1, V1, plus M2, V2 is going to be equal to M1, V1 final, plus M2, V2 final. So essentially, these are going to be your two formulas. You're just taking M1, V1 in the beginning, so your mass and your velocity of your first ball, mass and your velocity of your second ball, and then this is just the mass times the final velocity of the first ball, and then the mass of your second ball times the velocity, uh, the final velocity of your second ball. And so the other formula you need to know is V1, minus v2 is equal to negative v1 final minus v2 final. So these are the two formulas you need to know in order to solve this. But before we go ahead and solve it, let's go ahead and write down the given. So given, so what are we told? So what I'm going to do is write down every single variable, right? All these variables right here. And we're going to determine whether or not we have it. So we have m1, m2, v1 v2 uh, and then we have v1 final and then v2 final so these are going to be the six variables that we need to determine whether or not we have so let's go ahead and start with uh, m1 so i'm going to say one is going to be the mass of the ball that's moving right so the one that's going to be at rest we're going to say that's m2 or the second ball right so two is going to be uh, the ones at rest and one is going to be the one moving so they tell us the one moving has a mass of 0.22 kg so 0.22 kg that's going to be m1 and then we know it's going to be moving with a speed of 7.5 meters per second so we know v1 right the initial velocity 7.5 meters per second and then we know it's going to collide elastically with another ball initially at rest so this is going to be the second one and uh this is going to be this ball right and so we know it's at rest so this is going to be zero meters per second and then we know immediately after the collision the incoming ball bounces backward with a speed of 3.8 meters per second so when it hits the ball uh, the first ball, right? It's going to bounce backwards. So it's going to go this way, and then it's going to uh, bounce back this way. And they tell us it's at 3.8 meters per second. So we know V1 final is going to be uh, 3.8 meters per second. But we have to keep in mind is it's going the opposite direction. And because of this, if we say the right is positive, which we're assuming because we said this one to be positive, then this is going to be actually negative 3.8. And the reason that is is because it's going the opposite direction. So we know all four of those, and they want us to find the velocity of the target ball after the collision. So that's going to be V2 final, right? This is the target ball, uh, 2. And then the mass of the target ball, which is this right here. So essentially, we just have to solve for these two variables, M2 and V2 final. So in order to solve for the first part, which is the velocity of the target ball, which is going to be A, right? Uh, what we need to do is use this formula right here. And I'll show you why in a second. So essentially, what we want to do is solve this for V2 final. So if we go V1 minus V2, and then I'm just going to expand this minus sign out. So this is just minus V1 final plus V2 final. So we've got it like that. And then what we're going to want to do is just solve it for V2 final. So V2 final is going to be equal to, and I'm just going to add this to the other side. So we have V1 final plus V1 and then minus V2. So essentially we just, uh, all we did was move uh, this right here to the other side. But I wrote this on this side. So uh, yeah, this is your form, uh, formula V2 final minus V1 final, or V2 final equals V1 final plus V1 minus V2. So now we've got it like this. And what you should notice is we're trying to find V2 final, right? And then uh, you should notice that we have all of these variables. We have V1 final, which is minus 3.8. We have V1, which is 7.5. And then V2 is just zero. So essentially what we can do to solve for V2 final is just plug it in. So V1 is minus 3.8 plus v1 or v1 final is minus 3.8 plus v1 which is 7.5 and then minus uh, v2 which we know is zero so essentially this is going to be minus 3.8 plus 7.5 if you go ahead and solve this right just add these up you're going to get 3.7 so the velocity of this ball is going to be 3.7 meters per second so this right here is your answer to a now let's move on to b so B is going to be the mass of the target ball. And if you notice, this formula right here does not contain mass. So we're going to have to use this one up here. And if you look at it, we're trying to find uh, M2, right? The mass of the uh, the target ball, right? Which is 2. So essentially, we're going to be solving this for M2. 
and uh, we have all the variables, right? We have M1, we have V1, we have every variable, right? So we just gotta plug it in. So let's just go ahead and do that. So M1 we know is 0.22 times V1, which is 7.5, and then it's gonna be plus M2, and then multiply by V2. But notice that V2 is zero because the target ball that we're hitting is just not moving. So really M2 times zero is just zero. So I'm just gonna erase that. Uh, and then it's gonna be equal to M1, which is 0.22 times V1 final. We know V1 final is going to be minus 3.8, right? That's what uh, they told us. So minus 3.8, and then it's gonna be plus M2, which is, we don't know, that's what we're solving for. And then V2 final, which we just solved for in the last one. And so we know that's 3.7. So now we've got it like this. Uh, what we wanna do is solve for M2. So essentially what you wanna do uh, is just minus this to the other side, right? So this is going to become a minus because a minus times a positive is a minus. So we add this to the other side uh, and you're going to get some number and then you want to divide by 3.7, right? So move this to the other side, divide by 3.7. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that because it's just algebra. But if you go ahead and do that, you should get, it's going to be equal to 0.672. Uh, you can just round it to 0.67 though. So uh, this is gonna be the mass, right? And we measure it in kilograms because we're using kilograms for our other mass. So 0.67 kg, uh, this right here is gonna be uh, the mass of the target ball or your answer to B. So yeah, 3.7 meters per second is your answer to A. 0.67 kilograms is your answer to B. And so yeah, hopefully you found this video useful.